Hello, hello. All right, everybody. Um, check it out. All right, I got an idea. All right, I don't. I have a lot of ideas, but some of them are really kind of like you know, some of them are really good. So I got one right here. Um, first of all, I want to say I appreciate all my subs. I got 255 subs now. Um, thank you so much for like tuning in and everything like that and your feedback. I love all of it. Um, good or bad. Um. I got thick skin, so don't be afraid. If I'm doing something, something with the video quality, whatever, any kind of tips I can get, the better I'm going to be. You just try to make it constructive and don't be a dick, okay? That's all, that's all I ask. Um, but anyway, uh, well, you can be a dick all you want. I don't care. Sometimes I'm a dick, too. It's okay. Um, but anyway, here's what I'm going to do, okay? Um, what I decided was how I'm going to give it away. Because I'm not too hip on the whole social media. So I'll just go to my Instagram and DM me and this and that. I just opened up a good Instagram a couple months ago because I was going to do that. But I'm so, like, not wanting somebody to be, like, uncool and try to, like, you know, steal somebody's, somebody wins something or whatever. So, and I've started linking my eBay lately to my videos. Well, I used to do it a long time ago, but I kind of stopped. Um, but I'm, now I'm doing it again. So, what I'm going to do is... Like when I do a video, all right, I'm going to say something in the video. At some point in the video, I'm going to say, hey, go to my eBay store. And the first person that buys this blaster box or the hanger or wherever the hell it is, the first person that goes and buys this, I'm going to refund you. Except for the shipping, of course, and the sales tax. If I put a blaster up in this video and I say, this, video, this blaster is a $30 blaster right here. If you go to my eBay store right now and you buy, there's only going to be one up there. That's all I'm going to put. And because I don't really sell the retail sealed merchandise too much on my eBay, okay? Sometimes I'll get hobby boxes if I get them in from my distributor, but very rarely do I do retail. All right, so I'll say, go ahead and go to my uh, eBay store and find this blaster in my store, okay? And if you buy it, you know, for 30 bucks, you know, whatever, I'll refund you the whole 30 except for the shipping and the tax. Okay, sound good? All right, so the first person to get it is going to get it. Now, it's going to be up to you to leave a buyer's comment saying, hey, you know, my name's so-and-so or whatever you want me to refer to you because I'm going to break it live on my live. I'm going to break it for you live on my eBay channel, on my, on my YouTube channel, and then we'll, I'll send it out, ship it to you, whatever, and all you're going to pay is the shipping and the tax. If it's a $30 blaster, it's a $30 blaster, Okay. If it's a $20 blaster, it's, you're going to pay shipping and tax, where shipping is going to be like four something and tax. So you're going to get, either way, you're getting it for five or six bucks. All right? And I'm eating the rest. All right, guys, that's going to be like my little way, you know, of saying thank you. Whatever's in it, you're going to get. And it's going to be live, so there's going to be no buffoonery around here. So I wish you the best. Uh, good luck when that, come, when that starts happening to you. Um, so be on the lookout. I would set notifications. Uh, so when I do drop a video, you're going to be the first one to get it, and you can get to my eBay store, and you can... You can buy it and then I'll break it for you within a day or two and I'll get it out. I ship out items every day. If you can go to my eBay store and look, I have sales on there every day for sports cards and stuff like that. I'm a good packer. Um, I take pride in my packing and stuff like that. So you ain't got to worry about it. So, But this is going to be a little thing right here that's going to be fun. It'll be fun for me because I get a chance to give back and hopefully I break some good stuff for you guys and get it out to you. You know, and get some good stuff. All right. I was thinking about doing that for slabs as well. Maybe I get slabs back. I can put up a slab. Say, hey, and I'll just, you just pay for the ship and you get the slab doing various different things like that and this way i can make sure that the person that won it is going to be the person that gets it all right and uh i'll have to make it regular price and i'll just refund you the difference so that if i can't put it up for a dollar on ebay because if i put up for 99 cents plus shipping and sales tax somebody's going to buy that in like two seconds as a subscriber or isn't a member of the channel you know what i mean and i don't want that i want i want it to go to the subs i want it to go to you people for a decent price okay all right, guys, that's all I wanted to say about it before I get cracking this video. So tell me what you think about that idea down in the comments. And I may start it as early as next week, next Friday, okay? Depending on how Friday goes, how busy I am, because sometimes I don't get the videos up until Saturday morning. So depending on how this week goes, it may go, my first one may go up soon. So good luck to all you guys. I hope you like the idea. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about it. And uh, let's get cracking. And my scissors. I'm still using the screwdriver right in the last video. Ah. I used to use those flathead screwdrivers for everything. I used to have flathead screwdrivers. Oh, <laughs> like I'd always have to buy new ones because I'm always forgetting where I put my flathead, right? In my Phillips. <laughs> oh, 
good. This stuff has been hitting so good. I don't think I could give any of this away, so don't worry about the Bowman guy, because I don't think I could... I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I, Because I'm trying for certain guys, it was like, I don't freaking... I gave a Bowman Blaster to somebody in the store a few weeks ago. He got there late. He wanted it for his kid. And I had, uh, I don't know, like four or five of them or whatever in my cart. And he was like, oh, man, I was like, he didn't even know what he, he didn't even know what was looking for. Okay, he didn't even know. He was just like, hey, my son likes baseball. I wanted to get him some baseball cards, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, you know what? Here, dude, hey, this, this is the best thing out right now. Take one of these blasters right here and give it to him. And he took my phone number and stuff like that. I actually knew the guy a long time ago. He wasn't like a complete stranger. And he, he took my number and stuff like that. And he sent me a picture of what he hit. And it was a, a Cleveland Indians. Uh, Joel. I can't remember his last name. For the Indians. Bowman first. And it was numbered to 99. I was like. I was like. Oh, man, not, a, not a tribe guy. Oh man. A tribe guy parallel first. I, I was like. Oh man. I was like. And I, that was like the only tribe guy parallel I've seen out of this retail. I haven't pulled anybody else. So that, that one kind of hurt. Yo, Kenzie Noel, that's what his name is. Yeah, that was number to 99 green. That one hurt. <laughs> oh. But you know what happened though? You know, they say always say you know you do something nice, you know, for somebody and it comes back on you because I went in Dillard's the other day. Uh, at the Florida Mall over here. And I was getting shoes, right? I needed some nice dress shoes. And I was like, I was getting a black pair and then I was getting a brown uh, pair, right? And I was sitting there trying to decide between these two. One pair was $200, the other pair was like 119 And I was like, the 119 I told the lady, I said, the 119 it's probably going to be more comfortable than the $200 ones. But the $200 ones were smooth. I don't remember what brand they were, but they were $200 after the 25% off. So they were like almost, they were like $250 or something like that, right? And I'm like, man, these things are so nice though. I was like, but I know these ones are more comfortable, but they're not as nice. And then this customer lady walked up was shopping with her teenage son for like a graduation, right? And she walks up, she looks at me, she's like, I like those. She told the point of the 200 something dollar one. She's like, I like those. I was like, yeah, but they're like double the price. I like those other ones too, and they're probably more comfortable. She's like, you know what? You need to get those. She's like, I'm going to buy those ones for you. She bought the $250 pair for me, and she's like, you buy those. She's like, you buy those two pairs, your black ones and those. She's like, and I'll buy this pair for you. How about that? I was like, no, ma'am, you don't have to do that. It's okay. I mean, I got it. I, I was going to buy them anyway. I was going to buy all three pairs anyway, to be honest with you. You know, and uh, she, I was like, no, man, I got it. Don't worry about it. No, she's like, no. She tells the sales lady, she says, give me the box. She just points at me. She's like, no, give me the box. She took the box. She was already at the cashier counter. She scanned them. Guy bagged them. She handed the box to me. She came over to me, gave me a hug. I kissed her on the top of the head. I said, thank you very much, ma'am. I appreciate that. I said, I never had anybody buy me anything like that before in a store. And she's like, you're welcome. You know what I mean? And she grabbed her son and they walked off. I was just like, the sales lady was like, you need to play Lato today. She's a little old Spanish lady. She's like, you need to play Lato today. You need to go to play the Lato. <laughs> Juan Yepes, there's a little story I was like, but you know, you know, you good, you do good stuff. So I told the sales lady, I was like, you guys still work off commission in here, right? And she's like, yeah. I was like, you can't take it though if I hand it to you, right? She's like, no, we can't. I said, okay. So if I go around the desk, I throw a twenty dollar bill in the garbage can. I said, just make sure you take out the trash later. You know, and she really was cool too with helping me find the uh, shoes because I walked in there and I told her, she's like, "Can I help you?" I said, "This is what I'm looking for. I need that." Okay, she start. She start. Uh, she didn't find some of the one, one of the pairs I liked, but she brought out a comparable pair. You know, and that, that went out a long way because I was like, wow, these are really nice. I was like, I ended up being one of the pair I got. I was like, thank you, because I didn't even see these out here. It's like, yeah, she's like, they were pretty pretty similar. But they work off commission, so they're going to do that. I don't think Macy's works off the commission because I had went there too, and the guy was no help. Well, he was minimal. I won't say no help. He was minimal help. He didn't have the, like... I give a crap that this lady had, you know. 
Pujols, Jazz Chisholm, Jorge Soler, Hale Marte, Jordan, Brandon Marsh, Harry Ford, story time today, Matana, and Jose Rodriguez. You know, that's the thing, too. This lady that bought the shoes for me, too. She didn't look like she had a ton of money. She wasn't dressed like she... You, know, you can never, you know, judge a book by its cover, but she just did not come off as somebody. She didn't have, like, an expensive hairdo like you would normally see with different people and, like, expensive gear on and stuff like that and expensive purse and all that. She just didn't... wasn't, like... Sometimes those are the people that have the most money, though. You know what I mean? It's people that don't... They're not flaunting and they're not putting it out there. You know? She was buying stuff for a kid. I felt more of like telling her, like, just, just go buy your kid another pair of shoes. You know what I mean? But we got blue here. Was it an Oreo, maybe? San Fran. Marco Luciano. Last pack of this blaster, and it held true. Giving us a color. Every box, every blaster got a color parallel. Marco Luciano. Our chromes are... Vera and Pineda. I'd say this blaster was kind of down a little bit. I mean, we need that, that blaster needed kind of a story time, right? Next up. Oh. It was raging. Once in a while, I'll be breaking with Hobby Legends. And dude was trying to do them uh, Gypsy Queen packs. He got mad. He put them all up for sale. Canceled all his breaks. He was trying to rip them packs open, boy. <laughs> he was best. Oh, man. He was so hot. I got James Wood Chrome on the back. That's a good way to start. I was trying to rip them open. I did two hobbies. I had one pack out of two hobbies that was like that. I was like, oh, I wasn't even... <laughs> I don't know. He's a cool dude, though, but he gets kind of excited sometimes. That dude gets worked up. Look out. He's the type of cat you could walk around, egg, walk on eggshells around if I think that if he start, his day started going downhill, I think he'd take everybody with him. One of them type of cats. Well, he's regular. He's like, he's cool. Wilson Montgomery, James Woods. James Woods, James Woods, James Woods High School, Family Guy. Two nice first right there. Two nice first chromes. Wilson Montgomery, James Woods. A lot of times when you see those cats, you start seeing like Trey Sweeney's and some other cats too following suit. Joey Vato, Rizzo. Cato, Hoy Park, Blaise Cespedes, Matthew Libator, Carlos Aguilar first, Dave Rodriguez, Trey Sweeney, what I tell you? What I tell you, I've ripped enough to know what's behind him. Pedro Leon. Can we get a Khalil Watson out of this one too? I don't have a lot of his chromes, man. Honestly, I just, his chromes have been, I got a decent amount of Trey Sweeney, but I got some of his. I doubled up out of the uh, fat packs of his the other day. But the uh, Cleo Watsons have been tough. Rookie of the year, Gavin Sheets. CJ Abrams, Pete Crow. Martinez and Baez. I think that's kind of a thick pack right here. No color yet out of this one. See, got to get one. Andrew Vaughn, Bogey, Lonzo, Valentini, Joe Ryan, and a Torque. Novell Marte, Dominguez. Starting to see more Novell Marte stuff this year. Last year, I didn't really see too much. His love has just avoided me and he didn't pull it. One more pack left after this one. Got to get a color. Keep the streak alive. Is there a blue in this? What is this? Connor Wong. Josh Lowe. Nelly Cruz. Scherzer. Yeah, it is blue. <laughs> That's an insert. Harry Ford. Castrino. 
Gonzalez, Garcia, and Campos. Campos and Garcia are like kind of like that matched up pair too, you know. Pedro Padena. Got to get a color in this one, otherwise the streak is over. Dylan Carlson, Goldschmidt, Alec Bohm, Mountcastle, Judge, Ashby. I don't think we're getting a color. Uh-uh. Lorenzo, me and Lorenzo rolling in a Benzo. That's it, guys. You know what? Check it out. This is actually my last one. I was only going to do two, but just hang out with me. I'm going to do a third. I can't end it on that. This is my very last box. I was going to do it uh, by itself as a loner. A one shot. Let's see how big it is. Let's see. Gotta have something going on. End it better than this. This might be my last Bowman Blaster that I do. <laughs> now, it, it may be, very well be because, yeah, these didn't. I've had two today that I didn't have any hits on, and that wasn't happening before. Um, here we go. We got a color. I think it's the color green. Here we go. It is green. Tampa Bay. It's a Wander Franco. Ooh. Ooh. We're 52 out of 99. That's my first actual non insert, anything like that. Actual numbered. Rookie parallel for Wander. Let's get this thing here without messing up the Kona. No, let me. I gotta be careful with this, guys. I ain't playing around. <laughs> you know what? The hell with it. I'm. Mean, I didn't cut any sleeves for it. I should have. Nope, I'm not doing it. I'll just wait till after the video. I don't want to be quick about it. I'll just wait till after the video, dude. I ain't playing around with that thing. I'm kind of like, dude, how many stuff I opened to get that card? And how much stuff I've opened to get a numbered wander? A lot. <laughs> Dustin Harris and Jorbit Vivas. Vivas, Las Vegas. All right, just when I say I'm done with this stuff, guess what? I'm not done with it anymore. No, I don't think I will. I don't think I'm gonna. I'm gonna get the megas, obviously, when they come out. I'm gonna try a few of those. I'm gonna get a couple of them. We'll try that. But as far as the blasters go, I think I am done. I should have a couple hobby boxes coming too, but I don't know when the hell they're gonna get here. Because they're coming from a distributor and they tend to send them whenever the hell they want to send them. It could be a month, two months, just whenever the hell they get them in from tops themselves and they decide to ship them. Where I'm at on the, on the pecking order probably too, you know. Nelson Cruz, Max Scherzer, Chris Bryant, Josh Donaldson, Castro for Rookie of the Year, Lopez. We got another green. It is too. It's a first. Vivas. Jorbit Vivas. Green. And this green is numbered to 399. That's a little bit lighter. It's a different style too, right? Because that's a rookie green. It's numbered to 99 to wander. This is 35 out of 89. And we got it. Leonard and a Justin Thompson chrome. This has been a banging box. All right, I can get this guy in here. I'm not going to be I'm not gonna be shaking now. That one nice and easy. There you go. Sweet. I'll throw them up. That is a first. Even though it's a paper. It's a parallel first. Second color out of this freaking blaster. Dang. Let's see if we can get one more. Sometimes I have gotten three out of these. Let's see. I wish I would have marked these on where they came from. Target to Walmart. It seems like maybe the ones from Target have been a lot hotter than the ones from Walmart. Maybe that's where the run was. Maybe Target got the initial run early than Walmart did. Gavin Sheets. 
Justice. Eddie Slender. Did we get another one? Nah, it's insert. Seen that little bit of green there. It's that the hit uh, ones. The uh, 3D, I think. Vibrations. That's a Trey Sweeney vibration. Not a bad vibration to get there. Campos. Katana. Leon. Valero first. And a Lou Rod. Last pack. Already got two number parallels. Brady Allen chrome on the back. So that's a nice chrome first. Let's get another insert here. It looks like it's a number. Spider numbers or whatever the hell that is. Or top 100. That's for sure. That's beer. Henry Davis top 100. Not a bad one. Henry first pick in the draft last year. And Rodolfo Nolasco. It's like the first one I've gotten of him. I haven't seen too much of this cat at all. Now Brady Allen. I haven't seen Brady Allen today either. I did what? I don't know how many boxes I did. Seven, eight, nine, something like that. So, all right, guys. Of course, the big dog. Got the one. Or don't forget about what I was telling you about the beginning of the video. Okay? Don't forget it. Yeah, we got it in. Ooh, that's what she said. Yeah, you got it in. Because that corner is really green. And I wanted to make sure it stayed that way. Right there. I didn't want no white, little white tip on that thing. No, no, no. 52 out of 99, I finally got one. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Uh, go back. If you, if you didn't catch what I was talking about at the beginning of the video about the giveaways I'm going to try to start doing, possibly as early as next week, seeing whatever comes in stock. So I like to do it with new product. So uh, comment comment about that for me, please. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And how are you hitting on this? Are you guys still picking this stuff up? Are you still hitting or what? Bye for now. Off to the next. Later.